Hey guys, welcome to another home lab series video today. In today's video, we will be showing you how to install Bookstack and then create like your first book, uh, chapter, and pages in it. Uh, Bookstack is actually a free open source, uh, pretty much documentation kind of self-hosted program. Um, it's super nice to kind of use for documentation. You can do code snippets, you can do other things. But my favorite feature is actually being able to like copy a screenshot and get like, you know, when you do a screenshot, copy that and paste it in. Um, I think one of the hardest things that, you know, when you're trying to look for like open source, try and get it all in one in one category and make everything kind of work. And that was one of like my deal breakers where I wanted something that you could just easily take screenshots and paste into it without needing to like do extra work, right? So we'll show you that in this video. This video is also sponsored by me, myself, and I. So if you enjoy my content or want to sponsor me or send me some free swag or hardware, my email is in the description below. So let's get started, guys. All right. So first thing we'll do is log into our server. Root at, uh, I think I put it on 39 here real quick. Let's log in here and see. Yeah. And we will install Docker. Um, so Bookstack also supports another Docker, uh, has another like Docker instance thing. So we'll we'll install Docker to, to use it and get the Docker Compose file. Um, while we do that, we will update our DNS and I'll get left to deploy out to our DNS server. So let's update this, uh, drag in, update the serial number and a Bookstack in a and 1.39. Okay, so commit this. Add a book stack. Commit. Okay, so now that that's committed, um, what we'll do is a book stack docker install. Um, so there's, there's a few installations that you can do, but we're going to just do the docker install. So we'll go to book stack, go to docker, go to the GitHub repository, and here we'll use the Docker Compose. We'll update some of these things, but we'll essentially use the Docker Compose from the GitHub repository. So while that is also installing, we will also um, create uh, the cert so that we can use HTTPS also. So we'll log into our CA server and make directory book stack. We'll change to this directory and then we'll do a step C, uh, CA certificate bookstack.dragon.local. Then we'll specify the key dragon.local, uh, the, the cert, sorry, and then the key. I think it's the cert and the key. Let me check. Yeah, cert and then key. So bookstack.dragon.local.key. Then I'll ask for the password. We'll go to our vault one here, grab the CA password to be able to paste. And then we will copy these files over to our book stack server and log in. Okay, so now that that copied, um, we got doc installed. So we will also uh, get doc compose also here. Get that in here and that. So what we'll do is via docker compose dot yaml. And we will copy what we got in this GitHub and paste it in here. Oh, we need to make sure that, um, so slash and then version two. Okay, I didn't hit I first, so. Okay, so the few things that we will update is obviously the app URL is not example.com. So we will update that to be dragon.local. Um, you can leave this all the same. Your DB pass will be the DB pass that you want to use for the database pass. So I just, I just put a DB pass, but you should obviously do something that isn't DB pass. Um, but just for you guys' sake, um, this will loop is 6875 um, on the, on our computer to 80 on the, um, Docker container, but we're going to do 8080 just to make it simpler. Um, so we'll leave that. That um, the MySQL root password. This should probably be a different password than the the D uh, the MySQL DB password for the app. Um, but we'll just do like root MySQL password here, and then your DB pass is should be the same that you used above. So DB pass. That's what I used above. So essentially, this should start up. Um, essentially, anything that hits 8080 will hit this container and the, this um, 
book stack container will hook up to this database. Um, you can also change the time zone to match. So I'm in America, Chicago. So we'll just do that. Um, and then all the data and whatnot, the volumes are mounted. So we'll save that. Now we'll install Nginx here um, because we'll let Nginx actually handle the TSL termination um, so that essentially we don't have to worry about that. Um, so we'll have that installed. Um, so now that we got that installed and we have our certs in our root directory, what we'll do is move the certs into the PKI Nginx directory. So we'll create the Nginx private in Etsy PKI. We'll move the key to Etsy PKI Nginx private, and then we'll move the cert to uh, Etsy PKI Nginx. So now that the certs are in place, we'll edit uh, Nginx, Nginx configuration. We'll scroll down a little bit to the SSL um, configuration. So we'll uncomment the SSL configuration. So have some fun. Give me a second as we uncom mass uncomment, you know, just no biggie. Okay. And then we'll update a few things. So in here, we actually need uh, to set up the location. And this is actually, we're going to just proxy pass. Um, so proxy pass HTTP localhost 8080. Um, so essentially, if something hits this server on 443, it will essentially proxy it through to HTTP localhost 8080, which is where our application is running. So the 8080 matches what we have in the Docker container file. Um, if, if you wanted to use that 6785, you would just use 6785 instead of 8080. And then we'll update our um, certificate stuff. So we'll do uh, bookstack.dragon.local.cert and then bookstack.dragon.local.key. And then we'll restart Nginx. And then last thing that we can need to do is actually do docker compose up and detach. So this will pull, you know, the, the book stack container as well as the database for it. So once that's pulled, it will start running and essentially you should be able to log in. Um, now, uh, you, obviously there wasn't like a username or password to be specified. So we actually have to use um, the default username and password, which is actually set to be um, admin at admin.com, I think, and password. Um, so we can we can test that bookstack.dragon.local. So you get the boot uh, book stack login, so admin at admin.com, and I think password is the default. Yeah, that is the, the default. So you want to obviously change the default, but by default, that is what it will um, show up. So that is how you install Bookstack. Um, we'll give you a brief overview though. So like we can go to um, books, we can create a new book. So we can go like home lab. Um, so we'll create our new home lab book. We'll create a page and we can show you home lab part one. So this is like your, your documentation where you see, you know, steps. And then you can also go, I think it was, um, not link, it was here, and then you can do code snippets. So, you know, we could we could do what we did for like Docker Compose and Docker. We could copy this, add it in here. We can select a batch and save code. So now you got a code snippet in here, um, as well as you can do screenshots. So we can do like snipping tool, um, new. We can snip this over here. Uh, and, and we can copy and then we can paste this. So you can see how it copied and paste. So you can actually also copy and paste images in here and it will actually just work great. So now we got a new uh, page in our home lab book um, for our thing. So you got the code snippet, you got just random headers and steps and you got an image that you can click and see. So that is essentially the just small things that you can do with Bookstack. Um, there's probably more that you can do if you take more of a look. So hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.